This CMMI Tech Talk highlights some of the key differences when appraising small versus large organizations. While every organization is unique, certain aspects often need to be considered when looking at small versus large organizations. In this brief talk, we will focus on organizational scope, appraisal team members, schedule, and evidence. Let's start with scope. In a small organization, it is not unusual for an appraisal to review the organization at a holistic level or even review a single project. In contrast, larger organizations often have multiple geographic locations, projects, and support groups. In addition, standard sample factors are typically simpler in smaller organizations and more complex in larger organizations. Another common difference may be support functions. For example, quality, measurement resources, and activities may look different depending on the size of the organization. Some functions may live within a project or they may be included as part of a group within an organization. In smaller organizations, individuals often hold more than one role, which is a big difference from the way a larger organization operates. The appraisal team must ensure activities are meeting the intent and value of the CMMI model practices within the context of the organization that is being appraised. When it comes to working with an organization, it is advantageous to have internal appraisal team members, or ATMs, who are intimately familiar with the organization. These individuals can assist the appraisal team with things like understanding terminology and or accessing evidence repositories. In smaller organizations, there may be a limited number of potential ATMs who not only have the requisite CMMI training and experience, but who also do not have a conflict of interest from being involved in writing processes. Naturally, there is likely to be a larger pool of potential ATMs in larger organizations. Regardless of the size of the organization, consider using internal ATMs to help achieve greater objectivity. While it is always best to avoid using ATMs who have reporting relationships with interviewees, this may be impossible to avoid in a smaller organization. If or when reporting relationships exist, plan to mitigate appropriately. Now, let's spend a few minutes talking about scheduling. The size of an organization may affect how many interviews and presentations need to be scheduled. For example, Larger organizations with more locations, more operating units, and more projects means more information, and that means more time will be needed to gather and consolidate the information. In a smaller organization, it may be more challenging to schedule sessions with critical personnel due to potential disruption within the workforce. The ATM must work with the appraisal sponsor and organizational unit coordinator to build an appraisal schedule that meets the objectives of the appraisal while minimizing interruption to the organization. In short, a smaller organization does not necessarily mean a shorter schedule. A piece of advice, always schedule appraisal activities as far in advance as possible to provide organizations enough time to plan accordingly and ensure the proper resources are available. For larger organizations with multiple locations, appraisal logistics become more complicated and may involve things like travel for the appraisal team, virtual activities, or working across different time zones. If an appraisal requires scheduling and working across more than one time zone, the accuracy and clarity of information within meeting invites becomes critical. For virtual and hybrid interviews, ensure all participants can be seen and heard. If too many people are involved in one interview, consider holding multiple sessions with fewer interviewees. No matter how big or small an organization is, adequate and sufficient evidence is always required. A smaller organization may have fewer artifacts to review, and each artifact may cover a plethora of information, whereas a larger organization may have many specialized sources of information and a large number of artifacts on various platforms with permission requirements. When multiple repositories are involved, additional time is likely going to be needed for readiness reviews and document reviews. The method definition document has the same requirements regardless of the size of an organization. However, the size of the organization may affect how the requirements are applied, as evidenced by things like the appraisal plan and appraisal schedule. In closing, Remember, a smaller organization does not necessarily equate to less objective evidence. 
and less objective evidence does not necessarily equate to less time for document review. More objective evidence will always mean you're going to need more time. No matter the size of the organization, thorough and comprehensive planning is critical to ensure a successful and efficient appraisal. We wish you all the best with your appraisal. If you have any questions, please contact us.